another video, very Jeep specific, as you guys have already noticed as the winter gets here, it has arrived, it's almost mid to end December, um, but it's very mild today, as you can see, no gloves, 40 something degrees. We're gonna talk about the current Jeep mods, and I'm, I should put some sunglasses on or something. All right, so let's get started. I'm just gonna go exterior first, not in any particular order. Um, first thing that we're gonna talk about is this Rolla roof basket. Um, it's kind of just the standard Rolla basket that you would get from online. I got it from Amazon, I believe. Came in a few days. It's fairly heavy, but uh, it definitely makes kind of a kind of a more stock type, you know, sitting Jeep. My Jeep doesn't have a ton of mods on it, uh, but the basket makes it look kind of more rugged, like you know, like it belongs in Utah or something cool. Like I don't know. Um, I think it looks good. I took it off when I detailed it, and it was interesting. But I definitely prefer it on after having the two different things. Um, anyways, this isn't really a mod per se, but I just recently um, wrapped the trim, which used to be chrome, gloss black. I wrapped it gloss black, so look out for that video. This trim will be done in satin, uh, which will match sort of the, uh, the window trim as well, uh, which honestly stops here. So I wish they would have just done that black too, but they didn't. Um, and while we're over here, those wheels are the stock chrome Jeep uh, premium limited wheels, uh, but I plasti dipped them with the uh, bronze glossifier. So that is why they look bronze. And I know that a lot of you guys are going to hate them, but I wanted something different for winter time. And uh, I figured that now is the time to sort of take that risk. And if they get messed up, no big deal. But there's a video on that as well. Next thing similar situation this is wrapped gloss black which is uh dirty i did uh blast this at a power washing station today just to get the salt off did not do a full wash uh, but it definitely needed the salt blasted off so that's gloss black instead of chrome i'd like to do this as well um, and then painted the tow hook uh red just kind of a normal red like krylon or whatever paint uh really it's no big deal took them off painted them uh, several coats pretty easy and this isn't a mod definitely not a mod but it's a delete of that air dam i can try to throw up a picture but normally there's you know an air dam that's right under here um that just kind of flaps in the wind it's supposed to be for aerodynamics but this thing gets such a horrible gas mileage anyways it just looks so much more rugged and has way more ground clearance without it so that made a huge change in the way that this thing sits got Jeep Grand Cherokee for snow and this which I kind of like kind of brings your eye kind of matches the tow hooks as well um, it just looks a little more rugged you know kind of from this view the uh, the stance uh, which I will be getting to in just a second is you know the uh, the red shackle is kind of cool um, and this is uh, bleached from the Sun so I need to take care of that and I have a locking uh, sort of a locking, uh, whatever this metal piece is here has the tow package, obviously. So, uh, but this has saved me. Um, people, if they try to bump me, they get fucked, not me. And as you can notice, it has a little bit of a stance to it. Not really tremendously. Um, it has a one and a half inch spacers on all wheels just because I want them to look a little more rugged. And I should mention, I, I forgot to mention, let's get to the lift and tires. I should have started with that because that's probably what most people care about. But these are obviously Nitto Terra Grappler G2 tires. And uh, they are all terrain tires, not super uh, loud. They are a little bit louder, I noticed, on the highway, um, but nothing that's too hard to deal with. And they are 265-70-17s, and uh, they do not rub. The only time they do rub, so I guess they do rub, is if I go full turn, full tilt on the steering wheel, and I'm going backwards, which is kind of weird. If I'm going forwards, it seems to be okay. If I'm going backwards, they, it starts to rub. Uh, and without the spacers, it'll rub on the uh, con front control arms here. So, uh, but that was really the only thing. And the other part, which I did with the wheels, which there's no way I could fit those wheels as well without the lift, is I did a uh, Daystar two inch spacer lift, uh, which you're not gonna be able to see. And I also did Bilstein 4600 shocks. 
because uh, the uh, suspension was just shot. Uh, as you can see there, I just love the rear. You can see the yellow shocks there. And yes, that's a stock tire, which uh, I would never use. So having it there is kind of pointless, but um, yeah. So that's that, that's the lift. Guys, I really love it. I kind of wish I went four inches instead of two, but this allows me to fit with the basket in every parking garage and uh, it's, you know, it doesn't kill the handling completely. So, oh, and also I should mention tinting. Uh, the rear comes factory, but I did the front windows 20 and I did the windshield 50, 50. Um, so that is done as well. That helps because this thing sits out 99.9% .9 of the time. It sits outside. Uh, under trees and under all kinds of crap. So um, that is why I got the windshield tinted as well. Interior. Um, this is not really a mod, but it does have WeatherTech floor mats, which I bought it with, which are really nice because they do hold a lot of the water and they look kind of factory, like they just blend in with the color, uh, the khaki color, which is of course the two-tone. It seems like I have a thing for two-tone, but I really don't. My M3 has it as well. I, I wouldn't have picked this. I would have rather had black, but a lot of these cars are the tan interior, which is in pretty good shape. The, the worst part is uh, that right there where you get in and out. But, oh, and before I get in, I should mention that this is uh, the, the bed liner, I sprayed it, and then this is, this whole thing used to be like this, which is very smooth, but this gets beat up and hit and scratched. Um, I put some bed liner on, and actually it cleans pretty well, despite the fact that it's kind of dirty now. Um, it's way more durable. If it gets scratched, it, it, it's very resistant to scratches. So there's that as well. There's, an, there's a video on that too. So that's why I'm going over that. It's not really a mod, but it's something else. And um, let's see, the biggest <laughs> mod in the Jeep right now um well the most recent biggest mod inside is definitely this head unit which um is kind of a mix between the current system i have as well as the one with the navigation um i actually did not have this whole bezel i did a whole video on this but this um is from i bought a bezel for the navigation oem unit and i just put it in my jeep which did not have navigation in order to fit this and have it look perfect. This is a Pioneer NEX 2330, by the way, guys. Um, I'm totally turning into a car audiophile uh, just by doing this. It's been a few years, but um, let me show you really quick. I just love this thing. It makes it so much nicer. It has Apple CarPlay, um, and I think one of the coolest things is uh, when you put a disc in so sweet. I just love the the motorized feature is so cool to me um, and also Whoops got to turn that off This you can actually tilt it just slightly if there's a glare or whatever um, You can just obviously, you know You're tilting it forward here. So that's really sweet. It has every single thing you could possibly want it has Apple CarPlay which Unfortunately, in my opinion, you have to plug it in, but uh, everything else is Bluetooth. Um, I have the little microphone up here so I can call people and all that stuff. And um, if you're wondering, I have 146,768 miles and uh, pretty good, going pretty strong. There's some creaks and noises and uh, a few things here and there, but overall it's been pretty good. Uh, so let me turn this off. Ugh. And this is the limited package, if I didn't mention. I know that's not really a mod or anything, but um, some people get interested in that sort of thing. And go to the back. I don't think I've done anything. Um, doing that head unit makes me want to kind of do a few speakers and sound deadening and stuff. Maybe put like a, a small sub under one of these seats or kind of on the side in the rear there. But um, yeah, so it has the sunroof, it has everything. I think that's really it, mods related. Um, let me go in the rear just to see if I oh here's a question for you guys so I have this thing which covers if you pull it it just covers whatever just so you can hide it if you have something valuable back there but I have like a freaking box that has you know my straps and it has this and I have these things here and the box always ends up getting falling apart you know because I, I use it 
Um, so if you guys have any recommendations for an actual nice organizer, like maybe Jeep brand or something on Amazon that's like really nice and doesn't look tacky, like something from Target, that is something I need. Um, I don't know, it has the weather tech here, it has normal stuff under here. I think that's really it um, as far as the rear goes. So that's it guys. I hope you Jeep people are satisfied because I've been pushing so many Jeep videos. I'm probably getting people unsubscribing because they think the M3 is the one that gets all the attention, which it normally is. It normally is. But right now I'm just, as I drive, what, whichever car I'm driving more, I end up kind of focusing a little more time on mods or whatever it happens to be. So before I started driving that thing, ooh, let's let this camera adjust, okay. Before I started driving the Jeep, in the winter time, like really, really frequently, um, I wanted to get the system, the uh, head unit in, uh, which makes it way nicer to drive, and it actually rattles all the speakers because now they actually have power to them where before they didn't. So if you're interested in that, I keep talking about it. Um, that was a really big project for me. I will do another video on the head unit. I think I don't really know exactly what the topic is, but I feel like knowing myself, I have a lot to say about it still. And I did like a 20 minute video. So I want to do sort of a follow up, maybe in impressions or criticisms or advice or whatever. It's probably going to be kind of Jeep specific, but uh, any BMW you guys, you know, you can bear with me. That is going to be it. If you guys are wondering future mods, um, what the heck are my future? I want to black out the chrome. Definitely the chrome pieces. The, the letters, I don't know if I want to debadge. I kind of like the idea, but it doesn't really bother me on this car very much. Um, ideally, would to be getting a sick lift, but I already did that, so I don't want to change. Um, I like either the Euro headlights, which have the projector bulbs, but those are really expensive, or one with a blacked out housing. They sell them online that seem pretty good. Like this part isn't chrome, it's sort of blacked out. It would look so much cleaner. Um, and also, you can get LEDs for here, which I like the idea of. And there's sort of small, like little bull bars you can get, or like some sort of skid plate under here. Uh, one of those things, what, maybe at some point I'll do that. Um, but I think that's the biggest mods. Maybe get to a sound system at some point. Um, but right now I think I'm good at least through the winter time, so we'll see. So I hope that answers your guys' questions. If you're wondering about mods, it's nice to do kind of an annual, biannual mod update list, at least for me. I can, I honestly do go back to my own videos and sort of, you know, review like what I said and what I had. Um, and when I started doing videos, I did a lot of those, you know, like winter update, fall update, all that stuff. So uh, let me know what you guys think. If I missed anything, I don't think I did. I don't really have like a running list like on hand. I have a spreadsheet and stuff. Uh, maybe I'll do a list of like all the money I've put into the Jeep, which is thousands, including the lift and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in kind of my running costs, maybe I'll do that. Or maybe I'll do that for the M3. The M3 is cheap as hell, at least so far. Um, you know, just buying the materials and doing a lot of the stuff yourself. So, and tires are the worst part for the, well, the Jeep too. The tires are like 180 bucks at least, uh, or at least for the smaller ones that I got. But anyways, um, oh wait, before I forget, and I will put the measurements of the before and after for the lift, um, because the lift is two inches and then the tires raise it an inch and a half. So it actually raised the, the entire Jeep overall about three and a half inches, but the front raised a little more just because it was sagging. So it went from sagging to actually upright. So that's a really big win. Okay, this video is like all over the place. I had fun filming, it was actually fun, hopefully you guys can tell, because it's nice out, whatever. So, anyways, leave comments below. Thank you for watching. I will put links to every possible thing I can, um, and information, and I will answer questions if you have them. Please subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.